When you're doing a private sale, um, it's you, it's you in line, it's your reputation. When you are selling something that is yours to another person and you're you're doing that transaction, both parties are very busy, they're actively grooming. I'd say most groomers are owner operators. Nobody has the time. Who is the time to then worry and figure out and troubleshoot and then you know hire lawyers, having to make contracts? It's a very complicated process. It shouldn't be this complicated, but it is. I felt a big big uh, burdened amount of stress to make sure that this van, which had served me well for seven years, was in perfect condition. So I put a lot of stress on myself. So I'm like, cool, I'm gonna replace the water pumps. I'm gonna replace the screens or, oh, you know what? There's a little tear in this. Let me let me order that. And you wanna know what? You know, you know, I'm already in the Wagon Tail store website. Let's just order more things. And it, you know, ended up literally ordering thousands of dollars worth of things to replace um, because I wanted things to be bright. Then I'm troubleshooting the other issues. I noticed that the inverter, um, you know, she's on her tail ends, we should replace it. And so it was just kind of one thing being replaced after the other. And the vehicle itself was in pristine condition. So it was just important to me to make sure that when this person bought her vehicle, that she could go right to work and could enjoy the, the same um, stress-free life I had when I bought my vehicle. Um, so that was a lot. And you know, ultimately, like the exchange happened, but not the, the true cost of maybe making a little extra money on a private sale versus the trade-in is the stress, the time, and the amount of money ended up being spent to make sure to withhold that value.